So Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a massive brand new game from Ubisoft. And there are a lot of systems and mechanics that are easily missed and not really explained in detail. Here are 10 key tips you need to know in the early stages of the game in Avatar. If you want to skip to a specific part of the guide, then seek out the chapter list down below. But you know how we do it. So let's get into it. Gathering. You will find yourself gathering a lot of materials, items, ammo, food, and crafting items in this game. These items are scattered all over Pandora, and it's your job to seek them out with your Navi senses. Once you activate Navi Sense, items you interact with in the world or can be interacted with in the world will be highlighted. You can then inspect these items for extra information which breaks us straight into the next tip. Inspect everything. Inspecting items you find in Pandora is very important to learn more details on how to get the best tier or quality of that item. For example, some components need to be picked at nighttime for the best quality or other items need to be picked while it's raining. Checking out the details of each item you inspect in the game will help you create some of the best food and weapons to really raise your strength in combat. Pin items and check their descriptions so that you can find the locations of the items you're looking for and make it a lot easier to gather them. I will create a video talking about the crafting and gathering system in Avatar, so for more details on that, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out. And smash that like button if you found this video helpful, but let's get back into it. Favors for clans. So as you have started to collect a lot of components, crafting materials and gear in the game, you can actually contribute these items to different clans in order to receive favors. Clan favors is another currency in the game you can use to get a lot of gear and cosmetics. Check the contribution basket to see what exactly each clan wants, what they want you to gather and what you need to go hunting for. Also, completing side quests and other main story quests will grant you favor with these clans so that you can buy from their NPCs. Combat Strength and XP There is not an XP system in this game. Different locations, enemies, and wildlife you find in the game will have a level attached to them. As you start to gather new gear and weapons, you'll raise your level. You can check your level of your character by going into the main menu, go over to your character, and highlighting the number that is shown in the top right. This is your combat strength. Your combat strength is directly tied into the weapons and gear that you have, as well as the skills that you unlock throughout the game. You can switch over to your skills tab. As you start to gather skill points, you can then go into these different trees and invest in different combat abilities for your hunter, memories for brand new abilities, and just raise your base stats to make you stronger. Make sure you check this before heading into a specific quest if the quest is too difficult for you because you may not have the level required in order to beat that quest. With that being said, going out into the world and applying brand new gear, mods, and items to your character to make your character stronger will definitely increase your combat strength and make a lot of the game a lot easier. Navi Senses You can use your Navi Sense for more than just gathering items. When traveling around Pandora, you may come across a glowing flare in the middle of your screen. When you see this flare, stop everything that you're doing and try to pan your camera in the direction of that flare. Eventually, that flare should turn into a circular flare. Once you get close enough to that item, you may be able to discover a bell spring, a tarsu sapling, or an ancestor skill. So pay close attention when you see these flares on the screen so that you don't miss out on these amazing locations. They're scattered all over Pandora. They will definitely make your Navi a lot stronger, a lot faster. These will increase your health, teach you brand new abilities in the game, and provide you with skill points, which will directly affect your combat strength, so try not to miss out. Picking items. In the opening of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, you will get a meter teaching you how to pick items. 
but you will soon realize that after you finish the tutorial stage of the game, that meter kind of just disappears. In order for you to pick items correctly, pay attention to your Navi's hand. If your Navi's hand is shaking, don't pick the item. When the Navi's hand steadies, you can then pull the item out and get the best quality version. Hunting. When hunting the wildlife in Avatar, you want to take it down as swiftly as you can. The more damage you do over time to an animal will result in a lower quality of the component from that wildlife and or animal you're trying to kill. So using spears, hitting their weak spots and taking them down quickly is key to getting the best version of the component and or crafting and cooking material you're looking for. You can check on animals weak spots by tuning into the hunter's guide on the main menu screen. Using the proper weapon. Make sure you're using the right weapon for the job when hunting so that you don't completely ruin the wildlife or animal component that you're searching for. For example, if you pull up on a viper wolf and shoot it down with an AR, you're probably not going to get the best quality meat that you need for your next cooking item, so I wouldn't advise you doing that. Instead, you should use spears, long bows, and try to upgrade your hunting skills so that you can take out these animals a lot faster and a lot easier. The Hunter's Guide The Hunter's Guide has a lot of information that is valuable to your exploration in Pandora. You can see exactly what each wildlife or flora in the game will offer and you can pen this information right onto your screen to make it easier to find it. You can also discover the exact location of the best variant of the item you're hunting for. You can also find the information you need that is necessary in order for you to get the best quality. You can unpin an item from your screen at any time by scrolling your cursor over that item in the top right and selecting it. Cosmetics. There are two types of cosmetics in the game that you should be aware of. When you equip an item, you can click on cosmetics from the menu and from there, you can either change the visual or you can override that look entirely to that equipped item. You can receive a lot of these cosmetics as gifts from different clans or you can buy these cosmetics from the stores, from the actual Ubisoft store and apply them to your character. Visuals will only replace the look of a certain part of the gear, whereas the cosmetic overrides will completely override the look of the gear entirely. When using cosmetic overrides, this will disable the visuals you may have applied. So be aware of what you're using at any given time so that you can have the perfect drip for your Navi. If you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and videos like this for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I'm going to be breaking into this game deep and I'm going to find everything and anything that I can to make sure I bring you the best quality videos. I appreciate all you guys tuning in and I can't wait to see you in the next video. This was your boy M of M C H D. For now, I'm out of here.